Yeah. So I've got my diced chicken here. It's very important to practice, you know, washing your hands after it touching meat and chicken and stuff. So I have some pre-cooked pasta. It's not quite fully cooked. It's um, you know, it, it's a little bit on the undercooked side. That's on purpose. We've got garlic herbs. We've got our Italian herbs. A pinch of onion salt will go in. Well, oh, onion powder, it. whatever you want to call it. I think that's how you say it. And then some thickened cream. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm confused with that one. Mm -hmm. And we got some basic shaved ham from, you know, our local deli. Hmm. I think that's what our Orinos is saying, El Dente. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm saying it correct. Okay. I don't know, no. I don't so, use that word very often. Let's grab a slab of ham out. I figured I'd go live with this since I was going to be cooking this up for um, some pre-cooked meal for my freezer anyway. So I figured this would give me a good chance to kind of, you know, make sure everything was going to work and, you know, all that sort of stuff. Come in, that's right, Crystal. Don't put your nose up or she gets sick with water. And since this is a, you know, savoury dish, this is mine to cook. <laughs> That's our meat all cut off. Now there's gonna be some things I do that you really shouldn't, like, you know, I'm gonna be sharing my plate with the celery, with the meat and stuff. You know, in, in a professional environment, that's not what you do, obviously. It's, you know, you need a separate board for everything. You don't want any cross-contamination. Kestrel said, oh shit, mad while she's cooking. But, because I'm, um, you know, doing this for my own consumption. So if I poison myself, I'm the only one that dies. Yeah. You know, it's no biggie. So let's grab out some celery. Yeah, Kestrel um, said you're cooking. I am cooking. <laughs> How you doing, Kestrel BB? Can you mm -hmm. go through to yeah. the freezer and grab me out some of the mixed vegetables, please? Your freezer or our freezer? My freezer. Your freezer. Yeah. When you have to struggle to put a knife through a piece of fucking celery. Kestrel is saying you need avocados. <laughs> like, is this is chopping using a gold damn <laughs> for that? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's. Oh, that's funny. Mm. You do my flavor. Mm -hmm. Just take that and throw that in my fridge. Sure. Lucky, I'm so glad you don't have the padlock on it. Mm-hmm. That would be annoying. I would to grab my keys all the time. Now, you listen here, you. I have to use that knife the way I have to use it. You know, it, it's not a choice. It's not a good knife. And if I have to come over there and spank you, <laughs> and you like it, I'll do it. Okay. Fry pans. <laughs> Fry pans. Fry pans are underneath the sink. I only know that because I put them away. Oh, Crystal. What is up with you? <laughs> you, no. you deserve it if you have to. I'm not going to have any sympathy. None whatsoever. <laughs> Come on, Miss Free Chat, if you want. Uh, because I'm, I'm literally about to put it up so I can show it here. 
Mm, I'll swap sides then. It's all good. I can read it. Okay, so. good. Because I want to finish my photo with the sandwich. Um, did you get any water? Yes. Let me see where that woman has put it. Yeah. Okay, good. It's actually a bit more. You can see things. Alright, so. What we're going to do is we're going to add a splash of just canola oil. Oh, it, hi, Angel. Here you it doesn't are. have to be canola. It can be any kind of oil you want, even butter. Uh, I sometimes like to use butter. Oh, Angel, we have to walk out of the kitchen. I'm just cooking. Angel, come on. Out of the kitchen. Don't kick, Angel. I'll fucking kick the cat if it's in the kitchen while I'm <laughs> cooking. It's okay, Angel. I'll defend you. Don't you worry. I won't let him bully you. No, it's something like that. Okay, so now we're just waiting for it to get up to temperature. What's wrong? Eat your bicky. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, Angel. No, a little coat over the pan. Don't look at me like that, Angel. You know you get. I mean, everything food. is better with butter. You're not wrong. Mhm. Mm mm, what's wrong, Angel? Stop looking at me like that. You're not getting any more food. So there's no exact science with this next bit, you know? Do a sexy dance while we wait. I mean, I won't, but Catherine can. No. Dance for us. No, I've eaten my fucking Give us a little. No. No. <coughs> no. No. Fuck her. No. Yeah. Uh, uh. I'm eating my fucking sandwich. Boom, chicka, boom, boom. No. Boom, chicka, wow, wow. Oh, chicken, wow, wow. I'll get Savannah's iPad and you can dance to Savannah's iPad again. Like yesterday, with Savannah. You're falling out all the moves then. Angel, we might have to come out of the kitchen and we don't like her in the kitchen while he's cooking. You can take three yards of Angel dancing. Alright, so to start with, yeah. we're going to dump in our pasta. Yeah. You want to watch? Again, most of this stuff is pre-prepared. I personally like my um, celery with a bit of crunch. So, I put it in raw, but if you don't like crunch with your, like, cooked food, I recommend pre-cooking the celery first, then dicing it up and throwing it in. Yeah, I, I personally like the crunch. So we want it on the very low. And then tongs. Tongs? Oh, should we only have baby tongs? We need tongs. Let's see if there is any in this box. Well, would they be in you? You mean she likes begging? She is begging. She's a hundred percent begging for food. Well, she's not getting. She's she's a cat. She's not getting any. You know. I'm gonna give her 
Alright, so we get a nice mix going over top. Next up, we got some garlic herb. Again, this is all a matter of taste, so I advise adding little pieces, sampling, little piece, sample, don't overdo it. Not overdo it. Simba, how's your kitchen? I'll kick him. Come on. Ah, That's fine. Has this got a lid, this one? I don't know. think so. That's okay. We can deal with that. Well, we might have a pot lid that's roughly around the same size. No, it's not going to have chicken salt as well. <laughs> no, we okay. don't have chicken Next, Italian herbs. This one is vital. Again, don't overdo it. This has a very strong flavor. And because of the way it is, it doesn't come out of our shakers real well, so it is very easy to overdo. So I find, give it a shake, give it a mix, give it a shake, give it a mix. It's okay, I'll, I, I can deal with it. Well, I think this is the biggest one. Try it, you can. But yeah, so what the amount I've got here. Right. Is um you could probably feed four people Catherine size with this. This would feed two actual people. Oh stop it. Stop teasing me. Fuck it. That's getting annoying. <laughs> well, you chose that one. <laughs> Stop it. It's not annoying. I'm sure it is. No, it's not. It's not annoying. You tease me about how much I eat all the time. No, it's not my fault you people eat beans and you're done. <laughs> One person in the rest of the house. Madison doesn't, but like Lucy has it. Because she wants to move away. Yeah. yeah, see, I worked at a pub. So, like, you know, nothing too fancy. It's all about making nice food and, and good portions. Rather than making, um, you know, fancy shit. I hate fancy shit. There's never enough in it. But it's a good mix of colours. So now that we got that to there. We're going to add... Our steamed veggies. This is not necessary, but I want some steamed veggies in amongst my things, and these won't change the flavor, so. Mm -hmm. you might need to drain the water. But yeah, so you can add this. Yeah, well, see, I don't have a bell pepper. I don't have any chilies, nothing like that at the moment. So, I can only use what I got. And like I said, I wasn't actually originally going to do this. This is just, uh, I'm throwing it together for my, my food. So, I figured I might as well stream it. Okay. <laughs> you want to go on the stream. That's why you're getting me, You want to go on the stream too, right? Yeah. So I I like um I want 
If I was doing it like I'd normally do it, I'd, I'd grab maybe a little bit of capsicum, sliced very fine and very sparingly used. Because capsicum has such an intense flavour, it, it kind of, it can overwhelm some of the subtle flavours that this has. So the last part I'm doing is just a little bit of onion powder. Now, a normal person would use fresh sprigs of spring onion. I would prefer that, but if I bought a sprig of spring onion, I'd use the little bit in this dish and then the rest would go to waste and I hate wasting, so. Yeah, well that's the plan around us. Um, so Sundays is my cooking day here in the house. So I'm gonna be doing these every Sunday And kind of showing off the kind of stuff I can cook. But keep in mind, guys, I cook meals. I don't cook any of that fancy crap. So if you want some fucking cordon bleu fucking shit, you know, maybe go elsewhere. But if you want a good, hearty meal that's going to keep you, you know, full and healthy, you know, come and see me. So... Next step, thickened cream. So we're gonna let this simmer for a minute. But the the best thing is, guys, is I'm gonna edit these streams down to be um, recipes online. So I'm gonna throw them up on a separate YouTube channel. So look forward to that. Yeah, Aranos. It's important to me for meals to be, you know, filling and, and very full. So, 300 mils of thickened cream. Alright, and just kind of spill that through it. And then we need a cup. There's my cup. So let's go. Let's go about a cup and a half mm -hmm. of water. You wouldn't let me watch when you put the last on. So something like that. So now it's just simmer down until the, um, yeah, kind of. So now we just kind of let it simmer down until the, um, the, the cream and the water kind of become more of a paste. And then you've got my, my favorite dish. This here, it's healthy. It tastes good. If you really want, you can add a sprinkle of cheese over top and it just, oh, but I'm not doing cheese over top because I'm going to be freezing this, so. Is this a main tray? Maybe. Or the one that you got first, baby. <laughs> I love tooting my own horn, so... <laughs> mm, it's perfect. We'd have to go on a Tuesday, I think, because it's not as popular on Tuesday. Oh. oh, Daddy. I ain't, I ain't trying it. Smack me, Daddy. <laughs> Not enough. I don't care, I'm not trying it. I don't want my mouth being on fire. And I'm getting full. I put too much sand in my teeth. 
Come here, come here. Well, how are you going to me? No, no. It's literally a piece of celery in the sauce. Uh, don't don't no. grab it. Mm. Not too bad. Where can you go? Would it disappoint? I'm not a big fan of celery either. So back to my home and sandwich. So it's nearly there. As you can see, it's so you don't want it to be too paste, like too pasty. Mm -hmm. I feel like the same as I remembered. You know, it, it's. Maybe because you added things. Well, it's because the one I did for you, I used ac actual spring onions, not the onion powder, which flavors it more. Yeah, probably. But yeah, so you want it to coat everything, but if it's too thick, you know, you, you don't want it at semen levels of thick. You want it to be nice pre cut levels. Oh my gosh, no. So I think that's just right, right there. <laughs> I mean, I'm a true Australian cook in here, mate. What do you expect? Hey, hey, that was a, that was a mate like I do. That was a mate like you do. Yeah. There was questions of my Aussiness. <laughs> okay, so I need your containers. My containers? Sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, whip out my containers. Do you want all five? Yeah, I better get them all. <laughs> but yeah look at that so like i said guys this is my favorite dish as i said you could leave out like the beans and the broccoli and the corn that's not necessary that's just because i needed to add a bit of veggies into my dish make it a bit more healthier with doc but look at that 